Okay, PCP air rifles or precharged pneumatics can be recharged in one of two ways, either with a diver's bottle or a stirrup pump, and both have their advantages and disadvantages. Now then, that is a diver's bottle. Um, the advantages of a diver's bottle is that it's simple to use, cheap to refill. I think the last time I got this refilled it was about three, three pound. Um, simple to use, you'd have a, uh, I've got one of the hoses there, which will connect to that, which will connect to your gun. Now then, when you buy your gun, it will come with an adapter, which you put on the end of that hose, which will then, it will fit your gun. And then all you do is open the valve at the top. Obviously I won't do that because this is almost full. Um, and it'll fill your gun up within seconds. You'll see the gauge screwing up. Um, always go by the gauge, either on the bottle or on the pump, never off the gun. And I'd like to say with the diver's bottle, it's effortless free. Just turn the valve at the top and your gun will fill up within seconds. Once it's come to the correct PSI, never go over, shut the valve down and you'll see a little valve there, the side there, all you do, you never ever take the hose off your gun. You always got to release the pressure. So all you do is just turn that, just open it and you'll hear pssssss. Once that sound stops, just tighten that up and disconnect it off your gun. Stirrup pump. That's the pump part, obviously the top there. That's the uh, foot plate there, where you put, when, you, when it's on the ground, put your feet on it. Same again, got the hose. And like I say, when you get your gun, we'll come with an adapter. You put it onto the end of the hose and then your hose will fit your gun. And then basically all you do then is you place it on the ground, put your feet on the foot plate, and then you just pump. Now then, um, disadvantages, a lot of people find it hard work. Um, but once, you, once you've done it a few times, you get into it and it keeps you fit at the same time. Also, yeah, with the uh, another disadvantage with the uh, diver's bottle is that you have to get them checked. You have to get them serviced every few years. And I don't know, I think it costs about 25, 30 pounds, something like that. Um, if you take your, your bottle into a diver's shop or a gun shop and it's gone past its, its service date, then they won't fill it for you. It has to be serviced. So that's another disadvantage. Um, advantage is with a pump. Once you've got your pump, that's it. You know, doesn't it? you don't have to be um, taking it to somewhere to get it serviced. Also, you're not uh, going to be charged, you know, to get it filled like you do with a, a bottle, albeit they are cheap to get refilled. Like I say, that one is about three, three pound. But anyway, yeah, just put it on the ground, put your feet on the foot plate and pump away. Then again, you've got like the diver's bottle, you've got your gauge, just keep an eye on your gauge. The more you pump, it will start moving up. Once it comes to the correct PSI, stop pumping. And like the diver's bottle, see underneath there, if I can get it on the angle, I'll show you like that. There's a little valve there. Once it's pumped up, you never ever disconnect the hose off the, from the gun. Always release the pressure and like the diver's bottle, all you do is turn the valve and you'll hear pssssss. You know, the air getting released. Just tighten it back up. Disconnect it from your gun. So that's it. It's a close-up look of how to charge a PCP, either with the diver's bottle or with a pump. And like I say, they both have advantages and they both have their disadvantages.